And then the last piece I want to show you in here is people details. And this is something I've not used a lot yet just because the API doesn't really sync to my Google contacts and you know, kind of puts them on an island. But I do reference people a lot in my daily notes. I'll reference William here. Uh, I'll reference Chris a couple times and Alex. And you know, I'll reference people quite a bit. And so it would be nice to build out their page a bit more beyond just you know, all the references, which the references are the key, but it's nice to build some details. So I have people details here where I can put their phone number, their email, the company they're with, where they are, when their birthday is, and then some tags. And to help me out, just remember what to tag. I have this in here where they always have people. If there's someone know from the WordPress community, they're here. If there's an author, if I met them at a business association, if I met at uh, Piedmont Church or Mount Bethel Church, or if they're a speaker or a contractor of ours, a client of ours. You know, so most people I'll kind of delete, you know, most of these and leave it like that as I fill it out. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick way to add a little bit more detail for people. Again, in most cases, I really, the people, when I get there, it's, this is blank. And it's just where the linked references are. But I think over time, I'll be using this more, especially if there ever comes a time when I can somehow sync this with Google Contacts and get that data going both ways. That would be brilliant. But I think we're probably quite a distance from that. So in the meantime, I'll use this just for the references of where I interacted with them. And if I need their actual phone number and stuff, I usually get that elsewhere. But here's a good way to put that all in one place if you want it there.